Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Jen, also known as Boston Jen on Ravelry and Boston Jen One on Instagram. I am here today with Mom. Hey everyone. Also known as Diane or Boston Jen's mom on Instagram. That's right. And we are here to tell you about our trip to the Berkshire. So normally we're coming at you from Boston, as you can tell from mom's shirt, <laughs> but we are out in the Berkshires this week and thought we would do a little bit of show and tell about our trip. It was really fun. It has been really fun. We do have some notes here in case we lose track, but we came out here on Saturday. We took um, separate cars to get here for lots of various uninteresting reasons, but I stopped at Webb's on the way here, which is a really big yarn shop if you've ever bought yarn from yarn.com, that's Webb's. <laughs> and I had a great time browsing through there. If you've never been there, it's a, it's a huge yarn shop in the front, but then the back is an even bigger warehouse where they have all sorts of yarns on sale. Mm. And it's pretty great. I didn't bring in that yarn for show and tell, but throughout this video, I'm going to be putting in different videos and clips and pictures and stuff like that. So you'll be seeing as we're talking all of the cool stuff that we're we're talking about now. Mm, so fun. yeah, it was a good it was a good entry into vacation for sure. <laughs> and then that night, Dan and I and you and Dad. Well, Dan came separate. He did. Yeah, so separate. we had three cars. That was great. Mm, yeah. <laughs> But Dan arrived like about a half hour after us, so that was pretty yeah. good too. Yeah, and so, so we're staying at, uh, my parents have a timeshare, so we're able to get two adjoining suites. And so when I got here, you guys were chilling out on your little patio, patio. porch area. Yeah. It was nice. It overlooks the mountains. It's beautiful. Yeah, so we're so right beautiful. at the base of um, Jiminy Peak, if you're familiar mm -hmm. with that it's ski called area. Brody Mountain. Yeah, it's beautiful around here, and we've had all sorts of weird weather, but it's meant lots of, like, fog rolling in, and it, it's not mm -hmm. mountains. Like, if you guys are from out west, no. it's, like, a mountain, yeah. but <laughs> but it's beautiful, and it's really different from what we have at home, so it's still pretty cool. Yeah, it was very fun. Yeah, so that was Saturday, because we got here late, and then Sunday morning, Dan made us a delicious breakfast, which was a treat, and then we headed down to Great Barrington, because our niece, Emmeline, is at school out there, and so we drove in, and we met she and her roommate at a little park behind the town hall, and sort of staked out a, a seat for ourselves, because they weren't allowed to go into a restaurant, because yeah, of the COVID restrictions. Still quarantine. Yeah, which was yeah. fine. Um, but we were still able to see them, which was great. And we ordered lunch from Steam, which is a ramen place that they wanted to order food from, which was a little bit of a yeah, it was disaster. Kind of a disaster. <laughs> the food was great, yeah. but they were really busy. I don't know if it was because it was Labor Day weekend or not, but it was uh, it took a while to to kind of get our stuff. But um, well, not counting that you had already ordered. It. Right, we had called had ahead, time, <laughs> and you still couldn't get it, and. You it was crazy. Yeah. Um, but amazingly, we got everything we ordered, which didn't mm -hmm. seem to be the case for everyone else who was there. So yeah. we got that, and it ended up, even though we had staked out a picnic table, there was a gazebo there, and we got to sit inside the, the it was a huge gazebo. Um, so we had some with lunch one in there. Table Wait, I know, right? <laughs> I don't know what was up with that. Maybe people have moved them. I don't know. Yeah. Um, but then uh, the kids wanted to walk around with us, so we hit a really cool vintage shop that they suggested, but we had eyed it on the way in. Yeah, it so was nice. that worked out well. And you found some really cool, what looked like ruby slippers, but like in platform heel version. So we'll put in we'll put in a video of some pictures rather of Emily. Well, I told Emily she couldn't get them unless she could walk up the stairs cuz you had to pay upstairs. Mm -hmm. I'm like, you're not getting them unless you can walk up yeah. the stairs and them. She did it. Well, the first thing was they had to fit and yeah. they they were like exactly her size. Seven. Yeah, it was crazy. Yeah. So yeah. So she loved those and then she picked out some handmade lollipop earrings. So, um, and she picked you got out, her those, and oh, then and she picked out like a big lace choker with some mm -hmm. cool thing in the center of it. So, yeah, so she was all she thrilled. was very happy. Yeah. So, that was a good stop. And then we stopped in an another cool little indie store that had all sorts of it was like southwestern themed kind of stuff and like tribal Native American kind of things. Her roommate got a blouse there that was really nice. They had beautiful things in there, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then dad dropped the kids back off to school. 
so that they wouldn't have to walk because we also got them groceries and stuff at Walmart. Yeah, the well, they would have had to take the bus, which I didn't think that was very safe either, especially where they're supposed to, I mean, they are allowed to take the bus, but they're supposed to be quarantined and they can't ride with people. Right. And, and like, like, we think Emily these... could have rode with us, but we weren't sure about the roommate, but we figured better than yeah. the bus. So, so we got we out. We stayed behind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we shopped a little bit and they got dropped off at school. And then we were making our way back and that's when we found a store that said baskets in the window. And that's like my magic word. <laughs> well, we kind of saw it on the way in. We did. But. But we, we stopped on the way back. And I only bought one thing, which no, feels no, no. like a win. You had almost a downfall. You go, oh, Dan's going to be so happy I didn't buy anything. And then one minute later. He found this. <laughs> like, come on. It's great. I've already been using it for knitting stuff. I actually, I'll show this too while we're doing this. So these are like the the baskets that are we often get at, at Rhinebeck. Um, and I had brought all sorts of scraps of yarn. I'm creating an avalanche. And I was knitting the, the snap hat from Tin Can Knits where you hold four strands of fingering weight yarn together. And so I made these two hats. And that little basket was the perfect, the perfect thing to to hold all my little minis. This is all I have left. Can you see those? Yep. And yeah, you so that was, thank you. So yeah, that was a uh, success there. That And that was kind of all we did on Sunday. Mm -hmm. We came back and kind of hung here, right? In yeah, the that was a beautiful um, shop though. That it was beautiful. They had, all, they had other housewares and, and all different things. Yeah, it was really And nice. I don't remember the name of that shop, mm -hmm. but it was in Great Barrington, I'm pretty sure. And then Monday morning, Dan left to get home because he had physical therapy. Wait, was that Monday morning? Or yeah, it was he Monday. Monday. It morning. was Monday. And we went to Mount Greylock, which is right nearby. And we drove to the visitor center and talked to the nice people there and learned about a tour for Thursday. And we had thought we were going to hike the mountain. And then we learned it was eight miles to the top. So we drove. Yeah. <laughs> that was not <laughs> Which happy. was a good call. But we did. We, it, we it looked around. It was a perfect around. day there, though. Yeah, I it, mean, it was beautiful. It really was. It was like blue skies, but like some puffy clouds. And you guys will be seeing the, some photos and videos from, from the summit. There's a, a beautiful sort of memorial that they built out of, was it granite or marble at the yeah. top? Yeah. And then um, just beautiful vistas looking down into the valley between all of these different mountains. It was outstanding. So we took all that in and then we climbed to the top of that monument. Yeah, we did that first. And then we went down one, was it the Overlook, Overlook Trail? Trail. Mm -hmm. And it was, I think it was about a mile and a half, a mile and three quarters total. We went down and we were thinking that we were going to make a loop, which didn't turn out to be the case. So we went down this like weird craggy rock trail and then had to come all the way back up. So it was a little harder on the way up, but yeah. we, we did all right. We did it. We made it. Like ah. we did, and of course we stopped and took some fun knitting along the way pictures. So you guys will see those here too. But it was nice because it wasn't too hot. Like if that was a ninety no, degree we day, we might have died. Woods. Oh, and then we had um, what were the birds that Quail because, Hollow? Quail Hollow. We named spots as we thusly went named. Yes. <laughs> was, as we walked, all of a sudden they just like flew out. Like four. We think there were four of them, but it was really hard to tell. But yeah. So look, and we were just talking about like lions and tigers and bears. Oh my! And then, <laughs> yep, <laughs> crazy. Lions and tigers and bears. Oh my! Lions and tigers and bears. Oh my! Lions and tigers and bears. Oh my! But that was cute. That was fun, yeah. but that did take us sort of longer than we planned. So we didn't end up getting lunch that day until like almost four o'clock. So we, we finished there, we drove down from the mountain and we ended up in downtown Stockbridge. And we we didn't think we were gonna be able to eat there because the one restaurant that had tables outside was full, but mom went in the general store and when we came back out, you had, yeah. we got a table. Do you wanna show them what you got at the general store? Which amazingly, we still haven't eaten. Know. <laughs> Sugar daddies. And we got a bag of sugar babies, and that we still have most of the bag, a little, you know, the little bag yeah. too. But it was just fun to find the old candy, and mm -hmm. um, this that store was pretty cute too. 
It was. So we had a nice lunch, late lunch outside there. And then what else did we do from there? Oh, we came back here and got in the hot tub because we did our, well, we're calling it a 20 mile hike. Yeah. Right? We were, 20 miles from the summit. On the, the way back, yeah. we were deciding to um, sink our story. That's right. So 20 miles, we agreed. Yeah. It was a tough day. <laughs> so we had to go in the hot tub, which was really fun. Yeah. It was nice. We talked to some nice people. And then we just came back and watched some TV, I think. And they. And that brings us to Tuesday, and we started the day at the Clark Art Museum, which was really great. Oh, that was beautiful. They had a beautiful exhibit by a Norwegian landscape painter, mm -hmm. and it was it was really incredible. So we spent most of the time there. They had some permanent exhibitions, too, and there was some really fun ones. We'll share some pictures of... Um, people knitting and crocheting and stuff portrayed in mm. portraits from like the 1600s yeah. and stuff like that. So I think there was even a Monet in there mm -hmm. of a, a woman crocheting and a woman sewing. So we'll put in some some cool things from there. But that was nice. It was beautiful. Like you could easily spend the whole day there. They had outdoor trails with sculptures along the way and stuff like that. We didn't do that part they of it. They had a reflecting but... pool and you could just, they had chairs and benches set up all outside. So And willow, could, willow trees yeah. like over. And just quiet, you know, yeah. it was really pretty. Yeah. If you were into drawing, think, it'd be a great place to sit they have and a sketch. Cafe? You could, they had a yeah. cafe and you could sit inside or outside, um, I think. We had a gift store, like it, yeah. they had trails and stuff that you could have gone on to, but we didn't do any of that. Yeah. It was beautiful yeah. though. We I feel like we, Easily got well, our money's worth in just a couple hours. But every single thing we did, we're like, it took way longer than we thought what, yeah. that we had planned out. Like, yeah. we're like, oh, we'll do this, then we'll go to lunch, then we'll do this, then we'll go to dinner. Mm -hmm. Like, we've had one meal every day. Like, because yeah. it's been, by the time we eat, it's so late. Right. Yeah, we so, kind of do lunch or dinner. Although, don't, it time. was not a weight loss program, so <laughs> Don't, don't no. get too excited. Yeah. No, no. We have got, we have actually. As, as you can see, but it's still in the paper, so. We might have missed, we went to Ben and Jerry's one day, and that might have been Monday. Was that after we left that cafe in Stockbridge? Oh, yeah, because we, we did. were looking for an ice cream place everywhere, and we couldn't find we one. Couldn't find one. So we settled for Ben and Jerry's. Yeah. Right? Right. It was delicious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. So Wednesday afternoon. No, nope, Tuesday, Tuesday afternoon. We hit the freight yard for lunch, which was supposed to have incredible beers, although most of the stuff was not available. <laughs> Thanks, Dan. Even right. your Bud Light was gone. Like, yeah. what restaurant does not have a Bud Light? So. so Dan had been there before. He wasn't with us when we went on mm. Tuesday. But we did get to see a huge freight train go by, so that was pretty yeah. cool. Yeah. We kind of got the experience of the place. And then we went antiquing which was fun. So we hit up a, a really big store and then we found another little strip of stores near Williams college. And we, we just had fun walking around there. We did, I got a, a hat for my nephew for his birthday, but um, it was nice to just walk around. Mm -hmm. The other thing about here is that most places close around four, maybe five o'clock. Mm -hmm. So you have to kind of get two. stuff in early restaurants. They close at two and then the other ones don't open until four or five yeah so if you're hungry in between not not, there's nothing yeah get an ice cream yeah. That's fine. if you can find that <laughs> <laughs> and then wednesday was our spa day so originally mom and i were going to be taking a trip as her mother's day gift um but we kind of had a snafu with our calendars and we ended up postponing it and coming out here and then the boys said they wanted well it to wasn't come. a snafu per se i got a big award that I was able, I was picked as um, a speaker for eBay. Oh, that's Open. right. It was that weekend. Yeah. And um, it was that Friday. And yeah. And then you had friends coming in town because of, of that. that. So, so it was fine. It, it, yeah. We didn't, it was just an excuse to get away because mom was at home through all of the thick of COVID until she got her vaccine. So now that we're getting out and doing a little bit, I wanted to get her out and, and treat her so so we did it we Wednesday. did it now yeah yeah so we started the day but we at, invited the boys we did um, we put up with them I you know, know it was fine but <laughs> Wednesday was girls day so we started the day at a spa 
It was called the L Day Spa, and that's in Pittsfield, right? Yeah. And so we each got a facial and a massage, which is really nice, right? Thank you. I'm still a little after, you know, the extractions. We're a little red, but yeah, yeah. I'm always red. Yeah. It was great though. The staff was really nice. They were very yeah. thorough. And they didn't, I was saying to Jen, they didn't try to upsell you on every single item they have in their store. And they upsold you know, me on nothing. nothing. And I not had even thing. told the girl, like, we were talking about lash lifts. And, you know, I said, oh, when you, because I went first for the facial and then she was going to do Jen. So I go, when Jen comes, you know, tell her about it, you know, and nope. see she if didn't. you have any appointments. We'll come. Nope. I'm like, yeah. okay. She didn't tell you about it? I'm like, she goes, nope. Um, but we did make appointments for it. We did. We're doing that on Friday. You're not going to hear about that today. <laughs> Today's only Thursday. Yeah. But after that, we stopped at a really cute store. It was something like the Museum Something Outlet. I mean, yeah, I think it was called Museum, museum Outlet. Museum Outlet. Yeah. So... We had a great time browsing around oh, there. Oh, I did. It might be. I bought a few things there. Yes, yep. it says Museum, Museum Outlets. I got some fun stuff. So I got two of these fabric colored necklaces. And a pair of earrings to go with them. So that was my big score at this place. And I can put in a picture of what mom got because that was really cool too. And it would be hard to show even if we mm -hmm. had it here, but see here's my earrings so those were really fun and then mom got it's basically it's pictures of license plates but it has each letter separated out in their magnets and so we got them to write hashtag lasand pool pub which is what we call mom and dad's pool and we'll we'll make something they had signs you could buy but they weren't long enough or something yeah. quite that long that you could put the magnets onto so we'll have dan make something for you and yeah that was fun yeah and dad, we cool put store. it out on the table in the other room and so dad could see it and he liked it too yeah so he's like that's really cool yeah it's clever and we got heart ones to put in between each of the words and we've already decided we're gonna put it over the wizard of oz window outside Oh, awesome. It's about the same length. That's They're a good idea. Be, you know? Yep. A little good there. Clever. Mm -hmm. So after we shopped a little bit, we had lunch at this little cafe outside. We got sandwiches and set yeah, up. We sun. walked down that we square, did. but there really, it was like pretty much closed up. Um, there were a lot of restaurants in the downtown area, but there really there was one or two tiny little shops mm -hmm. and nothing really to mm -hmm. to speak and of. Then we walked back and yeah, we grabbed lunch, and then we got in the car and we were looking to go to a place to get our nails done, but we found an antique store that was really great, and we didn't bring that stuff in, but I can show some pictures of that, and I got some video and pictures from inside the store. But from there, we found out that they had a sister store in another location. So we just Can kept traveling. You checked it. How did you know that? Yeah, I told him how much we liked the store. And he mentioned that they had another location. So I got the card for that one. And then we, we kept driving. So we kept Which getting further. Back and down where we ended up back down that little yeah. square and where we went to. Well, not as we, far as Emmeline's, but right, but past Stockbridge. Mm -hmm. So we went, we, we kept, went pretty far. We kept going down there, making the loop yeah. and coming. And back. when we got to that second location for the antique store, there was a nail salon in the same parking lot, but they couldn't take us. They were mm -hmm. booked until like seven o'clock at night. So we, we were, skipped. That. We were so excited. We're like, score, <gasps> big time! This is awesome. She comes out. No, no, seven fifteen. We said no, thank you. <laughs> We'll but, be asleep. I know, right? <laughs> but I did what at the second one I got wooden sock blockers, antique sock blockers, and another spool. So that was a you didn't buy anything at that one. No. Um, I don't need a thing. I nor do but, I. <laughs> but But I did get You these, did get your sugar. And daddy. I know I've shown them three times, but we just show them. We don't eat them. <laughs> I'm gonna hang them up on the wall. 
And then from there, though, across the street was a nail salon. Yeah. It said there were two. We started looking up reviews, and then we looked across <laughs> the parking lot, and one of them was closed. Whoa. So that narrowed that down. <laughs> mm. But we got manis and petties, and then we headed back towards the hotel and met my dad halfway, and we went to this little restaurant called, was it Lakeside Tavern? I think so. Lakeside Tavern. Mm -hmm. It was literally right on a lake. It was beautiful. It and right when we sat down, mm -hmm. it rained. For like Jen goes, oh, my God. Raining. But it rained for like four seconds. And then it stopped. Yeah. But so we got lucky. We've been able to eat outside everywhere mm -hmm. since we've been here, which is great. So yeah, so that was last night and today is Thursday. And we started today. We had signed up last night for that hike that we found out about at Mount Greylock earlier in the week. So we signed up through Eventbrite and got all the details and drove out the, this morning and it was 10 o'clock and no one was there. And I checked my email and it was canceled. <laughs> <laughs> but it actually worked out great because the woman who was supposed to be giving the tour came out anyways just mm -hmm. to see if anyone, I guess normally they cancel earlier and it, it wasn't raining this morning so we didn't even think to check, but it was pretty wet out there because it rained last night. Buckets. So, yeah, it rained buckets. Yeah. I mean, it, it was, was like thunder a and then lightning, and it was. So we really should have thought to check to see if it was canceled, but yeah, but we're gonna go out anyway. So what difference does it make? Yeah, and so we didn't end up doing the loop that they were going to show us because that would have been pretty wet. But across the street, which was sort sort of part of what she was going to show us, were these Pex Falls. And so we went into the woods not very far and we got to see this beautiful waterfall. So that was, that was really nice. But then today, after we did the Pex Falls, we drove to the Natural Bridge, yeah. which was beautiful. It was something my dad had been looking at and it was incredible. It was amazing. Just amazing. So it's, there's a, a stream that runs into a dam and then it creates this waterfall down marble. It's natural marble. Mm -hmm. And it's the only one in North America that it's a natural marble falls, right? Yeah. Because like dad was saying, marble is so soft that it would, from it, the water rushing against it, it made these little like tunnel cavern kind of things. They, so, and then yeah. newer ones would form because when it changed its path there, it now went out and hit the other side. So there was all these little ins and outs and ups and downs. We saw one piece of rock that was shaped. It was huge, probably yes. ten feet. Ten tall. feet. Oh, way more than way that. More than Maybe that. 10 feet wide, wide, though. Yeah, like 30 and or 40 feet. And it was feet. shaped like a, an icicle, and it was hanging there. Yeah. It was like it was only supported in the top. It was like squished in over years and years of however it had fallen. Yeah. It and was, there was nothing underneath it. Yep. Oh, yeah. That was amazing. Yeah, we'll put in lots of pictures and videos from there. That was, that was, that was really worth the drive. And just listen to the sound. Like, I went back up onto the bridge on the way back because it was just so nice to just listen to that water. So after we left the natural bridge, we went for lunch yep. and we went to the trailhouse kitchen and bar, which was great. Again, we got to sit outside. They had this beautiful patio with, um, no, we didn't go there first. We went there. We, we went, went there the after, after the, the mill. Yeah. Yep. Cause we came back here. Oh yeah. Maybe you're right. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Um, so first we went to find a yarn shop called Spin Off Yarn Shop and it was inside this NORAD mill. So it was an old converted mill that has shops inside, which you wouldn't really know. The signage wasn't that mm -hmm. great. We did find a sign on our way out that we definitely didn't see on the way in. No. But the but store still, was beautiful. that sign didn't say it was inside. So we're looking at all the things. We didn't know it was There like was a, a couple like shops on the exterior, like shop, like auto body shop and mm. things like that, not stores. Yeah. So we drove around the whole thing twice. Well, one and a half <laughs> yeah. times. And then um, Jen's GPS said, okay, go right. And I, yeah. it still says it's here. It still says it's right here. So I got, there was a guy at a truck. She goes, ma, he's, he's not, not going to know, know where the yard shop is. Yarn drop is. I go, Excuse me, do you know where the whatever record shop is? And he goes, oh, yeah, I know where that is. Because on, on the GPS, the yarn shop was near the record shop. So that was the safer like, bet. You go back here, you go in the door, turn right. Yeah. And, yeah, so it yeah. was pretty fun. And then mom goes, do you know if the yarn shop's in there? He goes, I have no I, idea about I, that I one. <laughs> Oh, but we nope. do have a little show and tell from there. So the owner was Beth, right? Mm -hmm. And she actually raises her own alpacas. So we got two alpaca blend yarns. The white one is a sport weight and the darker one is a DK weight. And I thought these might be nice to mix in with my hand spun for a project. So that was really cool. And then I got a braid of fiber, which was fun because they didn't really have much fiber at Webb's. So this is from Frabjus Fibers, Rainy Day Rainbow. That's going to be so fun to spin. Oh, and it's BFL. I didn't even notice that. I love What's BFL. Blue-faced luster. It's a kind of sheep. Oh. But I like the way that that spins. And it's hand-dyed in Vermont, which is also pretty close because we're really close to the Vermont border where we are now. And then I just got a skein of this. The Alpaca Yarn Company Classic Alpaca Tweed. It's a DK weight. I figured I would hold this with the rest of those little bits and bobs I had to I can make mm -hmm. one more hat with this and what I have left there. So that's what I got at the it was yarn a cute shop. Little shop. She had a little dog in there, Kaylee. Yeah. That loved on all of us. And yeah. Um, she had a really nice, she had a glass entryway door. Mm -hmm. And um, she had pop. Well, is it called pom -poms? Yeah, there were yeah, pom-poms pom -poms. like hanging on a string. But it was like 30 on this one, 30, you know, from the top to the bottom. Yeah. With we'll put in, we took a picture of mom with so it. So there's like maybe, maybe five or six rows of them across and then they were as long as glass. Yeah. It was a really great idea. It was cute. It was, yeah, it was a beautiful shop. Tons of natural lights. It was mm -hmm. easy to see everything. Good layout, pretty good selection, some sort of commercially made stuff and some What was she saying about that stuff. truck thing that she bought? Oh, I guess she bought out, there was a, a yarn truck that would go to different events. Uh, I hadn't heard of it, um, but I guess the, the, the woman moved and so had to sell the contents from the yarn truck. So she bought out some stuff from them. Hmm. Yeah. So that was our February adventure. And then we did get lunch at that you know, what did we say it was called? Trail kitchen. Trail House Kitchen and Bar, which we found out was, they also own that freight yard that we went to earlier in the mm -hmm. week. But we had a nice lunch sitting out but on their they patio. Had they did. The well, oh yeah, <laughs> you're right. <laughs> the other one. It's not what day. they're known for, but no. they had plenty. <laughs> but the other one, every one we wanted, they didn't have. So this yeah. one, and then dad. Every time dad would order, they didn't have what he wanted. Yeah. So, and that happened last night as well. It did. Dad's learned this or week to make backup too. plans for both mm -hmm. his entree and his drink orders. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. <sighs> yeah, well, last night's excuse was something like, well, the cook hurt himself and he hasn't been able to yes. cook for two weeks. Well, put it on the menu. Right. Like, <laughs> like. And just, tell just us tell when us. you walk in. We don't have any of this. Yeah. <laughs> don't get your hat set on it. And then, oh, well. Oh, well. Well, I guess if that's the worst thing that's happened to us this week, we're doing pretty well. Mm, yeah. So. so that's it. We're back here this afternoon just hanging out. It's already 530 in the evening. So, and I leave tomorrow to get home for our pigskin party kickoff events so that's an exciting thing to get back mm -hmm. for 
So I think that's, that's it. it. Thanks, Mom. That's it. You're welcome. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already so that you don't miss whatever fun and exciting video we have coming next. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.